Development of drugs using the supercomputer. Simulation applicable to drug design. Two talented scientists are at the forefront of cutting edge research into next generation drug design. The two researchers clarify the current state of computational drug design by simulation science in their respective approaches. Takefuma Yamashita is focused on finding a chemical compound that can be used for drugs by molecular dynamics simulation with a supercomputer. This is the behavior of a target protein binding to a candidate compound of drug simulated by the K-computer. The chemical compound which strongly interacts with the target protein in vivo that causes a disease. Yamashita says the accuracy of finding those compounds has drastically increased with the help of computer simulation. While Yamashita continues his studies on molecular target drugs, Keiko Shinoda is working on research into the development of antibody drugs. 私は、えっと、ガム標的とした抗原と抗体のMD is MD simulation? It involves reproducing by computer the atomic or molecular dynamics that constitute the proteins in vivo. She noticed research focuses on a phenomenon called the proline switch, which are conformational changes in the part where antigen and antibody bind. This is the part where the antigen and antibody bind. The proline found in this region changes its conformation with the binding. This phenomenon is named the proline switch. Proline switch is a very important research target. It is projected to relate to various diseases such as cancer, asthma, Alzheimer's, and HIV virus infection. Supporting drug design for the next generation with the K computer. Research achievements with an eye to the future are now attracting attention. The conventional way of drug development often depends on serendipitous discovery based on many experiments and findings. By applying computer simulation, it is now possible to accurately predict the complex molecular motion, which leads to a more precise drug design. As a result of the research work, candidates of new cancer drugs have reached preclinical trial and it's become possible to make practical use of new cancer drugs and to spread the drug design using simulation in the future. While both researchers have fulfilling research lives respectively, they spend their private time in very different ways. あの、大学のオフィスとかだと研究データがどんどん出てくる端末があったりするので、そういうのに気を取られないで、別の角度からいろんなことを考える時間っていうのが僕にとってはすごく大事な時間になっています。プライベートの時間は基本的にえっと今
子どもと遊んだりとかの時間結構リフレッシュできるのでそれは大事にしたいなと思ってます。Yamashita and Shinoda both value diverse human resources in the field of life science, and they have these messages for the young students who will lead the future. Human beings are often moving forward. あの私が学生の時から思ってたんですけど生命科学って割と女性多いんですよねそれは女性が馴染みやすい分野でもあると思うんですいろいろな要因が考えられるんですねその生命科学における現象を考える上で,でそういったことをマルチなものを考えるのに女性は意外に向いてるかもしれないというふうにちょっと思いますぜひいろんな人に来てもらいたいなというふうに思いますコンピューターシミュレーション and the world of drug design Yamashita feels that the next generation supercomputer plays an important role. y o r i s o n o s e d o n o t a k a i s t e n k a r a k u s u r i z u k u r i o y a t i k o t o g a d e k i m a s s i s o n o k i b a n i n a t i r u b u n s i k a g a k u n o h a n a s h i d e a r u t o k a b u n s i s e m e k a g a k u n o h a n a s h i d e a r u t o k a s o y u f u n a b u n y a g a h a t e n s t i k o t o g a k i t a i d e k i r u n j a n e k a t o y u f u n i o m o t i m a s Supercomputer and Life Science. The interaction leads to the advancement of the next generation research field. <laughs>